stuff. Okay, it's Healthy Tuesdays because health is beauty. I'm doing a Healthy Tuesday on Wednesday because I forgot to do it on Tuesday. Okay, now this is a really powerful tip. This is Secrets of the Flat Belly Rich. So you know people who have really flat bellies are like, I'm a celebrity now, like whoop whoop, oh my god. So I'm trying to get all fit tip in that celebrity whoop. And I've always had a muffin top, but now I figured out how to practically eliminate that. I mean, whenever I get around to really getting it down, I'm gonna make another video and talk to y'all and be like, oh my gosh, look at my completely flat belly. But right now, it just looks flat. You know, when something looks flat, but it's not flat, so it's almost there and I almost got it. It's one of those little things. But I got it. But the thing about it is you have to do it all the time. You have to be consistent. Do it at least like four times a week. And that's what I go do four times a week. So consistency is key. So that's the number one tip that I don't follow, which is why I don't want to show you my stomach right now, even though it does look flat. But you know we're not trying to go there right now. It does look flat, but I want it to actually be flat, okay? And a little non-flatness is cute. I think it's cuter when your stomach is tiny bit out, you know. But I'm trying to get more perfect. The point is, this is a tip. When you stretch your belly, stretch your lower belly, because that's my problem area in the very, very lower, lowest, lowest portion is where I have that little pooch. So after you do your leg raises to exercise your lower abdomen, when you're finished with your sets, okay then you need to stretch it so you need to do a cat pose where you like stretch back so when you do that cat pose and stretch that abdomen for at least 10 seconds 10 to 20 seconds you do that not immediately after but sometime after you do your lower ab crunches and that will cause it to flatten out faster and look flat and remain flat if you consistently do that ab crunch then stretch lower ab crunches focus on the lower abs only because that's just how my body is. It prefers to do the lower abs when I do the upper abs. I don't want to get like ab marks because I'm not into that. Okay, so I just like the lower abs. So what it is, is you have to do that all the time, okay? And it definitely works 1 million percent. It's a major golden nugget, diamond nugget secret that I just gave you. So try that, do that. I don't want the video to be too long. Okay, thank you for watching. I want to say one last thing.